my name's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and uh, there's been a lot of questions about this um, engine design and so on. So instead of, I'm, I'm kind of ignoring people in the comments, not on purpose, I am just not doing it, replying to every single comment, it'll take me forever, blah blah blah. Let's just get on with it, right? So um, I'm going to answer some questions and fill in some gla ga glaps, gaps and not only that is I'm going to show you some other stuff so first let's talk about um, the actual uh, thing at the moment currently uh, what's going on here, right layout version there we go so uh, some things that people have stated and asked about and so on uh, that we didn't cover before or whatever so number one is why does this have to be made out of steel no one said it had to be made out of steel it doesn't have to be made out of steel is it going to be made out of steel don't know right <laughs> um, and it, that was it's coloured that way and it's just talking about uh, relating it kind of to uh, wankles that kind of thing you know, if you're familiar with that kind of stuff. Next thing, uh, I don't understand the porting. That was intentional. We'll get there. Um, why, why, why haven't you got any seals? Stuff like that. Because this is a concept, right? You don't instantly click your fingers and it's all done. You've got to work these things out. I thought I mentioned this in the first episode. Obviously, no. You know people weren't listening or something um, it gets changed I do something you change it I do something you change it I do something you change it um, the concept is pretty much finished in in my book written down stuff like that you just have to put it into you know we're trying to you know someone said oh you're missing alignment dowels and no I'm fucking not I'm not even anywhere near that yet that's not concept that's um, assembly and manufacturing stuff like that you know um, there are people whinging like fucking the comments about a load of things how do you know this crank is balanced I don't know, no one knows that you've got to work that out later you know, have I done the moment of inertia on this, no, well fuck you know <laughs> shut up you know so people, and I love how people say other things, the armchair engineers Oh, the, the 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 balance of that P rod thing looks all wrong, and the side thrusting into the sides of these walls uh, that'll just tear it to pieces. Do you know what the side thrusting is? Because fucking I don't. You know what I mean? Not yet, anyway. Because I haven't done that analysis. It's like you've got to work that shit out. At what RPM? Because all these things change at different speeds, different everything. Right? It's just fucking yeah. The porting is another one that everyone asked about. They don't understand how all this works. It's because it's not finished yet. It'll all become clear. This is the whole point. I wanted to let you in on how you go around doing this. Um, you know, the materials don't have to be what they are. You know, people are saying, could you extrude this stuff? Not this sec centre section here, but where the spark plug well is. But you can change that. It's all up for... Um, you know, I've got to work this stuff out. You know, you've got to go build through it. You've got to work through it. Um, you know, the seals. The, the seals are corner seals, button seals out of a wankle, apex seals and side seals, basically. Um, you know, come to making a prototype and stuff, I will literally buy some apex seals and then cut them down to size. You know what I mean? It, they're there they've been designed, they fucking work, use them, you know what I mean? Is this the file? No, it's not the file. How does the crank go together? Still working on it, you know what I mean? Exactly how I want this to work, blah, 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 blah. You know, this crank at the moment, let's just, let's just pick that, right? The crank at the moment, let's just say up to there, right, is 220 millimetres. It's not going to be that long, right? Even from that theoretical point to that theoretical point, it can change, right? 
I've literally built in so I can open this part this is why I do this this way and I can make that longer yeah it's 20 mil at the moment I can just edit that number and it'll change yeah so you can just oh for God's sake if you fucking can you know you just do this right and then you oh no, no you don't so that's completely wrong you just do that right and you change it to fucking 45,000 you know what I mean it, this is all changeable. I can just change that to 45. Right, and go, yes, okay. And now it's a lot bigger. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Um, there's other questions, which is... Uh, there are other questions I'm avoiding, in a sense. There's questions like, can't you have two of these rods per crank pin? Well, it's a two-stroke, so no. Um, if, if you were, it'd be... No, you, you can't. You... Eh. Yeah, there is a way around it, but no, then don't want to do that. You know what I mean? Um, I have my reasons, and keeping some of this stuff back for future episodes is what it's all about, in a sense. Some of the questions I don't have the answers for right now. Some of them I do, and I'm keeping them to one side. You know, because well, actually, one because I've tried. There's one little thing I've got to work out. It's not completed. You know what I mean? But there's loads of loads of questions, and some if I haven't answered any of them in this one, you know, like I still haven't answered, um, you know, any if if you've got a question I haven't answered, the you know, people in the, in the the original video are saying how's it cold? No, I don't know. We'll see why that matters. Um, things that people have said. So someone said, uh, oh, it's still not going to help with emissions. You, you obviously didn't listen to the... This has got nothing to do with fucking emissions. This is not an engine design that I expect to revolutionise the world. Far from it. This is just to do something, right? This is to do something that some that no one's done. That's the whole point. And the whole point of this, this series of videos is just to show people what how much work goes in. How do you work out these things? You know... Um, just engineering in general. So, to that end, I wanted to show you some of the other designs before this one. These are just very bare bones concepts, right? Very, very bare bones concepts, as you can tell. And, um, yeah, so this one, as you can see, looks like a, a Hossack, um, with a, uh, where is it? Oh, I can't fucking see it now. Why select other? Oh. There it is. Why have you changed the transparency? Yeah, there's no pin in it, you see, just stuff like that, just to show you. Right, so basically what this is, this is a weird piston, right? That's just a weird piston. Trying to make the whole thing and make it light, sticking very much to the Norman piston and, you know, all that kind of jazz. So what this is, is you can see it's a four valve head, right? Again, trying to go for this unit construction thing like with the wankle. This has done ages ago, I've just literally put this together recently, like literally yesterday. Um, but, you know, well, that's great, you know, all fantastic, we perfectly get that, looks exactly like the Norman Hossack jobby. However, this has four intake valves, right? If we, and then we have this section here. If we look at this side, so it's the same engine, right? This has got a plate missing. If I do this, look, you'll see what I mean. There's a plate over the back there like that, right? Like that. What this is, is that this is the exhaust ports. There, you see, like that. So what happens is, is that you can draw a lot in, right? This would be a power stroke, so it goes bang and it gets to the bottom, lets out your exhaust gases, and then even when you get down to here, say, you can even open your intakes and purge it through, and then as soon as you close that off, then add your fuel, and then, you know, just like that. It could also be a four-stroke system, you know, this is almost like a two-stroke diesel kind of idea. You know what I mean? You don't have to have exactly pots like this. You could have exhaust pots here at the side. You could, all sorts of stuff. It's just to show you 
it isn't the first idea that I've worked on this. I've done loads actually. I'm just going to show you a couple of these are the more um, weird ones. And what you could do with this system here is you could have um, valves that either, you know, at low speeds you just open two valves, at high speeds you open all four. Or you could have different cam profiles, you know, so you, you activate this one when you need to. Just like you do, like, with a, um, exactly the same way as you would say, like a VTEC or something like that. You know, you could have our electric motor, or you could have oil pressure or something like that, a speed governor, electronically, whatever. You know what I mean? Where it has a cam system or it has a, a clutch where it engages like an automatic clutch in an automatic car. Regardless, this is the other one. This is, again, a crazy idea. This, again, this is madness, right? This is just, fuck it, why not? Let's see what will happen. But this is a double-jointed Hossack that uses the fact that it rocks, right? You might have seen something similar to this, where it has two pistons, two wrist pins, and, and a, a one piston. It's kind of like that, but this has this crazy idea. You could actually, you got benefits in both ways. So we could turn the whole system there, so you can see what happens, right? You draw in like this, which means you make a, a big volume a lot your volume increases very quickly so it goes from there bang like that which would be good for intake be bad for a power stroke right and then as you come back up now you've kind of got this automatic uh squish region where it goes on and just forces it into the center like that you wouldn't want to run it this way it'd be better to run it this way right where you could there where you have this rapid there like you can even use it as a compression engine oh, wrong way there so you can have there oh I'm just getting it the right way there right and then what you do is once you're there you basically just rapidly compress at tdc like that and then you've got a flame propagation that moves outwards not that the flame pushes anything, but you get what I mean. And you could actually space these out or whatever, fuck around, so there's actually more of a direct thrusting down instead of around, which this has kind of got that going on. It's just a crazy idea. The fact of the matter is, if you look at this, there is no proper joint in there. And even if you did, you'd have this dodgy joint and it's can this take it and so on. Just concepts, you know what I mean? And it obviously wouldn't be this big and gangly, you know what I mean? You'd, you'd reduce the size of these pistons. It was just a conceptual idea to see if there's any real merit in these things. You know what I mean? Because you draw this, right? You draw this out and you think, oh, you know, it just looks stupid or it looks really good. The thing is, when, when you actually start turning, you see the dynamic of how this chamber inside changes its volume. You know what I mean? Stuff like that, which you rotate the other way, and then you notice something else. You know, there's a there's a big asymmetry to this. You know what I mean? And you could put ports in the sides here. You could do all sorts of things. You know, but um, I'm just giving you examples of stuff that I've messed around with, just ideas, concepts, and stuff. You wing it around for a good half an hour. You look at it, and go, eh, nah, nah. Move on. Next. You know what I mean? And, and in a sense, that's what it's all about. Next, try something else. Or try something else with it. And you keep on fucking around until eventually, hopefully, something kind of sticks. You know what I mean? Will it stick? Don't know. You know what I mean? Just don't know if it's going to stick. We'll see what happens. And it's kind of... It's kind of the same thing with this. You know? Will it stick? We'll see. I've This seems a lot more promising than just, say, the other two designs... But we'll see how it works. And if this is if this layout works and it physically works and you know, give ourselves a fucking pat on the back, whatever, I think then I'll actually move on to not this one, the other one. You know what I mean? The the, the two stroke diesel version kind of thing. I'll make it four stroke. We'll just see what happens. You know, it's all about just messing around with ideas. So the whole intention of this is 
it's nothing to do with the missions. It's not trying to reinvent the wheel. It's not trying to reinvent the bike engine. It's not trying to sell it commercially. It is just to make it for the shits and giggles. Why not? You know, it, it's a modern take on something that Norman did a long, long time ago. And instead of just having that invention, you know, just die. Um, because, you know, petrol engines are coming to their swan song, basically. I want to bring this, you know, do something with it. And this isn't just the only one. I have, like, eight, eight lined up, eight different, completely different ideas. Nothing to do with the Hossack. Completely different ideas of why aren't we building an engine that does this? Or why aren't we building an engine that does that? Or blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. Anyway, Rod, hope I've answered some questions. There's a lot of missing. There's a lot missing on purpose. It's all intentional. You know what I mean? I'm trying to make a thing so people can see what how these things evolve and see how, oh no, we're not going to do that. I've changed my mind and I've changed my mind because of this, because of that, because of the other. Any road, I hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit.